Hey everybody, and welcome back to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. Bear with my voice a little bit. I, uh, I've been dealing with a little bit of a cold, so my voice might crack here and there. But today we're going to talk about the magic of your dreams and how analyzing your dreams can be such a fascinating process and can reveal so much about the outside world and can also reveal what's going on in your life, especially your thoughts, feelings, and relationships with the outside world. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. Welcome to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. My goal is to teach you the elements of spirituality that will show you how to find your passion and purpose in life. I'm your host, Lisa Maria. So join me in another session of Spiritually Speaking. Welcome back, welcome back to Spiritually Speaking Podcast. This is Lisa Maria and I am your host. And today we are going to talk about the magic of your dreams and how analyzing dreams can be such a fascinating process that can reveal so much about your thoughts feelings, and relationships with the outside world. Dreams are reflections of life that you experience both inside yourself and in the world. They present you with images and feelings about what has been, what will be, and what could be. Your interior and exterior worlds coexist and dreams revolve around your desires and aspirations. Pretty cool shit, huh? So when you dream, you are finding answers and solutions to the problems that have carried over from your waking life into your sleep. Occasionally, you may even be fortunate enough to experience a glimpse of the future and see what lies beyond the horizon. You know, you can also see past lives in your dreams, which is going to be another podcast that I'm going to do. But dreams are colorful, informative, far-fetched, and sometimes ludicrous, just out of control, right? (laughs) Tapping into this source of information provides an added dimension to the rich tapestry of your conscious waking life. So what is the purpose of your dreams or the purpose of dreaming? One school of thought suggests that we sleep specifically in order to dream. Sleep allows us to rest, which replenishes our thoughts and feelings by allowing you to switch off so that you can review issues privately. Dreams are fundamentally your personal and internal dialogue. When you're cocooned from reality, dreamers are able to explore their inner world, your true nature. Through dreaming, you can contact your true being, your higher self, and recognize your full potential. When examining your dreams, it's important to acknowledge the highest and the lowest in yourself and to come to terms with your life experiences. This means to accept and acknowledge every single part of who you are because we lived so many lives before and we may not approve of what we did in those lives. But let me tell you from experience because I'm going through this whole accepting myself for who I used to be in past lives because they're being brought to my attention now and I'm having a hard time because I didn't I don't approve of, of who I am now I don't approve of who I was then because those are things that I wouldn't do in this life today And a lot of issues that we have, a lot of illnesses and mental issues that we have today, stem back to those past lives and learning how to accept ourselves as one whole being, 
one soul. Because even though we lived those lives in the past, doesn't mean that it was a different soul. It was still us. So those are stored in our cells. And our cells, if we crossed over without you know, forgiving someone or accepting something in our, in that specific life, we bring that with us into the next. And that holds us back. Think of it like a tree trunk. I want you to think of a tree trunk like a closet. And every time you cross over into another life without forgiving or letting go of something in the previous one, think about stacking up those people or those lives in that closet and it stacks up like into your tree of life makes sense right so your tree of life not only holds what this life is bringing you it holds every single life before this one so that's something that I'm going to give you a little homework today a little freebie that I'm going to help you work on. But I'll give that to you at the end of the podcast. And of course, it will be in the show notes for you. But anyway, understanding your dreams, it is extremely useful, if not invaluable. And it's a source of inspiration, guidance, and counsel, providing you with insight into your life and your relationships. I'm also going to give you a little example of one of my dreams, and I'm going to give you a dream log to keep, and you can print it out, put it into a binder, and just print as many as you can, and then I want you to keep it beside your bed. So this way, when you wake up, because when we wake up, our dreams are vivid, and we remember them. The longer you go without writing it down, the less you will remember from that dream. And little bits and pieces might come back to you throughout the day. But the tool that I'm going to give you is going to be really, really good and and really helpful in this process. So first, let me give you a couple short examples of my own dreams. Because remember... Those dream dictionaries, yes, they can give you insight on what things mean. Sometimes there are specific meanings for specific things, but you have to interpret it in your life because what's going on in your life and how you're feeling and thinking is completely different than the other person so yes absolutely use them as a guide but I want you to really look deeper into what the dreams mean for you personally and that's what this dream log is going to help you with because it's going to help you identify your own dream dictionary so you're going to pretty much be creating your own dream dictionary so you know what things mean to you or what the symbolic meaning is to you and your life personally. Okay, so I'm going to give you a short example, just a piece of one of my dreams and then sort of tell you what it meant to me and then you can go from there. Okay, so here is part of one of my dream. I was walking over a bridge that led to a campground. I was walking past a friend from high school. He asked me if I was okay. I shook my head and put my hand up as if I didn't want to talk about it. I went over this bridge and there was people driving in my car, but the car was old and it was a huge car. There was a guy that named the car in my dream, but I couldn't remember what it was called. Then my mom was walking around, and I couldn't find her. Then she was talking to someone that was related to my ex-husband, and she was going down the shore with all of my friends. That's just an excerpt from one of my dreams. 
I had a lot of issues with my mom. I felt like she didn't care about me and she put other people first. That is what the part means when she was talking to someone that was related to my ex-husband and was going down the shore with all of my friends. I felt like she was taking my friends before me. So she was accepting other people except or besides me. Then the car. There were other people driving my car. Now I want you to pay attention to this part. This is really important. Okay, a car is a vehicle. So, my car was old and huge. That meant that I had a lot of past experiences because the vehicle, our bodies are vehicles. So, anything that is moving, such as a plane, a car, a boat, or a train, things like that in your dreams, could symbolize your life right now. Now, mine was old, and it was a huge car. That meant I had a lot going on subconsciously. And it was all from the past. Other people were driving my car. That meant I was allowing other people to control my life. When a friend from high school asked me if I wanted to talk about it, or if I was okay... I put my hand up and shook my head no, which meant I was holding it all in, which was not healthy. So what I had to do, I had to start to really keep track of my dreams and really start to analyze what I was trying to learn or what my higher self was trying to teach me. And once you have learned to understand and analyze your dreams, you can gain a greater awareness of yourself, of the world, and the place that you have in it. Okay, so I have a few things that you can actually learn from your dreams. So one, you can recognize causes. So to gain the most from your dreams, you can learn how to distinguish between a significant dream and one created by external conditions. Two, you can identify motives. Learn about others and their true motives toward you through your dreams. You will then be more able to deal with these characters in real life. Three, is it reality or metaphor? Learn to recognize the difference between literal symbols and a metaphorical dream that's relating to your effectiveness in the world. Your dreams may not have the most obvious meanings. That's where the dream log is going to come in and help you. Control and change. Learn how to control and change the outcome of your dreams. This will bring greater understanding and control of situations in your waking life. If you can control something in your dreams, then you can control it in your waking life, without a doubt. You can develop creativity. You can use your dreams to exercise your creative and imaginative sides. If you reflect back through history, you'll notice that many creative talents have made much use of their dream world. And you can also improve yourself. You can recognize your shortcomings and strengthen them. Dreams are an honest appraisal, and by accepting and understanding the symbols and metaphors that they bring, you will be able to bring improvement into your waking life. Now, let's go over just a few simple dream meanings. Some dream symbols and themes are common across the world. And here is a just a basic guide to what common themes mean. But remember, like I said, every dream is unique and personal to the dreamer. If you're going on a journey... These dreams relate to destiny and the path carved 
through life by the dreamer. Snakes Snakes may refer to libido and sexual ambition. Combined with other symbols, a snake could represent good, evil, envy, or a snake in the grass. (laughs) We all know those, don't we? (laughs) We all have a few of those in our lives. Royalty. Royalty indicates self-importance and delusion of grandeur. Royalty can also relate to a person in authority. Teeth falling out. Loose teeth relate to changes on the horizon. This is a common dream theme, especially during adolescence and menopause. Falling. Falling represents a fear of falling from grace or out of love. This dream is usually underpinned by a feeling of foreboding or losing control. Flying. Flying, symbolically. Flying dreams represent ambition and freedom. Your ability to rise above worldly problems. House or garden. The house represents the self or the soul. Just like I said, a vehicle could represent your self or soul. The garden highlights the dreamer's personality and its role in shaping his or her place in the world. Being chased. This dream can mean you're running away from a problem. The pursuer is sometimes an aspect of the self that you are avoiding. And the last one for today, death. Your own death indicates new beginnings in a dream. The death of others indicates hostilities towards the dreamer. Now again, these are just simple dream meanings that are have common themes across the world. Okay? This is not written in stone. So please... Use the tools that I'm giving you and use them to help yourself. Because if we can't help ourselves, no one can help us at all. So know that you are important and you are a star. It is all about love. All about love, people. We have to love ourselves before we can truly, truly love anyone else. With that said, I'm going to end this podcast and I'm going to give you some tools to help you analyze and interpret your dreams and keep track of your dreams. So I want you to go to www.spiritualarchy.com online courses dot org forward slash free dash resources the link is in the show notes and you can download the free dream log so you can start analyzing your dreams and keeping track of what your higher self is trying to tell you what your subconscious thoughts are telling you One more thing before I go. I would love for you to send me one of your dreams that seem important to you or something that you can't figure out. And I would love to analyze it for you for free. So send me your dreams to dreams at lifeyou.me. That's dreams at l-i-f-e-y-o-u dot m-e. And I will be sure to get back to you with an interpretation of that dream for you. So I hope you enjoyed this podcast about the magic of your dreams. This is Lisa Maria of Spiritually Speaking. And I will talk to you in the next podcast. Namaste. Are you looking for guidance in your life? You're trying to figure out what your next step is. Book a psychic reading 
with psychic medium and spiritual teacher Lisa Maria, who offers personal readings along with discounted home parties and events. Readings are available online or in person. For more information, visit www.lisamaria.com. That's www.lisamaria.com. Or you can contact Lisa directly at reading request at life you dot me that is reading request at l-i-f-e-y-o-u dot m-e start changing your life today <laughs> 